Listen, I have a theory, right? I okay. believe that one can improve their station and situation in life by simply learning a new language. So what I'm saying is that right now we're speaking English, right? Sure. I'm from Romania. My native language is Romanian. Mm -hmm. I was born in, in the communist era. And my parents insisted that I study English. And I had an English tutor for all my high school life. And today, because I mastered the language, I work in an environment where English is the language, yeah, absolutely. de facto and language. That's, that's, that's not common. I mean, like you get a lot of native speakers who travel the world and uh, teach English. But uh, a lot of second language speakers of English who, who like make it their profession and succeed in it, it's, it's rare. And then apart from that, my wife is Indian. So I do not speak any of the uh, 1,000 Indian languages. <laughs> that, apart yeah, from a about few that, words. right? Yeah, India is amazing. It's apart like... from a few words. So our language of communication, my relationship is in English. Yeah, of course. Well, that was like for me, like, I mean, I, I've traveled fairly extensively, you know, I've got somewhere around 50, 50 countries and notched on my belt sort of thing. But I've uh, only really learned one language and um, learning that language like uh, Monica, uh, my wife, um, it was it was it was it was the only way I could get to know her. And Monica is Colombian and she's gorgeous and they have an amazing YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. And we'll talk Just about getting it. started. Yeah. Getting we'll up we'll and talk about it. Yeah, sure. I use English for this channel and for my podcast and for my travels. So I do believe that. By well, the it's, it's the lingua franca, right? I mean, this is the true, English true. is the, it's the language these days. It's the language of empire, right? And I do believe that by the simple fact that I learned English and I mastered the language, I was able to improve both my, you know, s standing in life and my station in life, right? I have a good job and things go well just because I love the language. Sure. I mean, like I, I'm, I constantly, um, tell my students that, you know, I mean, they're all second language learners, obviously, and the opportunities that it opens for them. I mean, like for me personally, like, I mean, being a native speaker of English, I mean, I'm still constantly learning and perfecting and improving on it. And that that continues to open opportunities for me. The better I get at speaking English and teaching English, uh, the more opportunities I have. But like for my students and for you, obviously, I mean, uh, acquiring this language, just like they can, they can travel, um, they can get to know people from other places, they can study abroad. And that's just, that's their whole life. That's their future, right? Yeah, we're kind of making a case for the English language here right now. Yeah, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to be that guy, right? I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, but the, the idea is that you can learn any language. And I believe that Ooh. any language that you learn will improve your station in life. Absolutely. For example, I lived in Thailand for 16 years and Thailand's neighbors is Lao. And the two languages, La Laotian and Thai, are very similar. Oh, really? Are they the same language family? Yes, they, same language are, right? family, same vocabulary. But for a Laotian person to master the Thai language gives them immense opportunity. Sure. Right? While maybe, let's say, not that many Thai people want to move and work in Lao. Right? So it can be any language. I mean, I'm encouraging people in... In my professional life, in my day-to-day -day life, like, learn a language. It cannot hurt. No, I mean, and like, more than that, like, I think making your brain work in that way, it's like, it's a puzzle. Learning a language is a puzzle, and you're slowly put together the pieces, and and when you have it down, like, you have all these things you can do. You can talk to people. You can open up job opportunities and all that. But personally, learning a language, like, it's it's an intellectual challenge that keeps you sharp. Like, it's like reading novels. It's like learning how to fly planes. It's like learning something, right? That That's the key to, to keep us going, to keep us active, to keep us alive. I mean, so, yeah, just, just personally, I mean, what more reason would you need than that to learn a language, right?